Well, we're not with the Leopard Cub. We've decided to leave Tumba to his own devices. And I thought some of you may want to see Tandi. And there she is. So she's now put her head behind a tree, unfortunately. So I'm just going to go forward a little bit so we can still see her. But she is resting peacefully in the shade near her carcass just to keep a close eye. Now, oh, there we go. We should be able to see her through there. See her beautiful little face. She's one of my favorite leopards of all time. So look at her. There she is sneaking through the grass and just see those little eyes watching us very carefully making sure that we're not up to no good hello my girl now you can see that her bottom canine on the left side is slightly worn these days as she's getting older unfortunately this is what happens with their teeth is the teeth do break every now and then so it's a little bit hidden by the grass but they feed on bones and things and every now and then they just get a sort of tip that breaks off it's nothing to worry about she's still as you can see very effective in hunting and so everything is okay now i know that she was in a fight yesterday but well i believe she was fighting with another female yesterday morning and she doesn't seem as though she's got any signs of any damage at all she's got no cuts around the face that i can see she seems to be walking fine when she was up on the tree she was moving okay so it seems like she's absolutely unscathed from that so i don't know how intense that fight must have been maybe it was just a coming together of two females and there was a little bit of growling and hissing like there sometimes can be and then she just left it alone and they carried on in their own way but either way both of them are safe happy and healthy and they've got a carcass so even if she is a little bit stiff or sore if she did fight she's got a few days now where she can rest and just take it easy the nice thing for her is this area has got very little hyena pressure so she's not going to have to worry too much about hyenas she can just take it nice and easy and rest up during the days and get lots of nutrients back into her body and get rid of any sort of stiffness or lactic acid buildup that she's developed from being very active and fighting but like i say if she did have any sort of signs of it she hasn't shown it by the fact that she's killed a kudu and she's dragged it up onto that termite mound she really has done a good job so she looks absolutely fine and you can see she's just trying to catch a bit of the breeze and just trying to get some of the grass out of her face also panting quite heavily same as what tumba is and one is because it's gotten a lot warmer all of a sudden and two is because of that very full belly that they've both got they seem to have eaten quite a bit of the sort of rump area of that kudu and both of them will have quite full tummies all right my girl but isn't she beautiful can see the resemblance between her and Tumba. They look very similar. Both got those sort of dark markings around the, f the eyes and the nose. Now, interestingly enough, some of you may have thought or heard that you can age a cat by the color of its nose. I don't know if any of you noticed, but Tumba's nose is fairly dark in coloration. It's not a very light nose that you would see. His is already starting to go very, very black. And so I've seen leopards like Shadow, who are 11 years old with pink, pink noses and then leopards that are a year old with very dark black noses so it's not an accurate way to age an animal or to age a cat all right guys but i think we're going to leave her in peace and leave him in peace and let them enjoy their kudu carcass we've been absolutely spoiled by being around with them this morning it's been such a pleasure to spend time with the two of them anytime i get to spend with tundi is always a good time so very